Good morning, class. The receiving school students and teachers. Good morning, Mrs. Watakas. How are you all this morning? We are very well, thank you. And how are you this morning? I'm very well, just like you all. You may be all seated. Now we already know, should know, um, this is to the receiving schools, with our teachers, we already should know the type of resources or the resources that we should be using, especially in teaching for this STEM. We also should know what our strengths are. There are two strengths. And also the sub-strengths. Now, you have been told, especially the um, receiving school teachers, that from one of the sub, uh, from one of the strands, a substrand has been removed. Um, that is uh, with the advice of the writer, uh, Mrs. Konaka. And so we only have um, four substrands, uh, receiving school teachers, a reminder to you. Now, before we go to the, our topic, uh, I'd like us to reflect back to our previous lesson on ways and activities of how we can help to improve um, the waterlogged areas. Now, receiving schools, you may have waterlogged areas in your schools. If you don't have waterlogged areas, you could look for something else that you can do. Whatever environmental problem your school has, you can also help to do some improvement on that. Now, in the case of um, our school, we have a problem with a waterlogged area, and that is why our concentration on the project is on waterlogged areas. Now, back to the class once again. Our previous lesson, we looked at ways and activities, how we can help to improve the waterlogged area. And you have listed down a couple of activities or things that you can do to help to improve the waterlogged area. And I'd like, um, Gima, if you can tell us one way that you can help to improve the waterlogged area. One way. Pour gravel over the water area. Very good, thank you. We have another from uh, William, please. William. Spreading gravels. Very good, thank you. And there were others you also had listed in the previous lesson. Now, I'd like someone to tell me what waterlogged is. What is waterlogged? Yes, Paul. What is waterlogged? A place where so, uh, water is soaked into the ground. Very good. A place where you have a lot of water. water where water soaks into the soil, it remains there and it makes the place become muddy. Thank you. Now our topic for this lesson is on action plan. On action plan or plan of actions. Action plan or plan of actions. A plan of the type of actions or activities that uh, you plan to do for whatever you have in mind to do. Now, and our plan of action is going to be on the, um, on the problem that we identified, which is the, um, Violet, which is the? What's the problem we have all identified and we are now looking forward to doing something to improve it? Waterlog. Good, thank you, the waterlog area. So our topic activity, um, Rachel, please, our topic activity.
action plan of the water log. Okay, action plan or plan of actions on the water log area. Now we have a look at what an action plan is. What is an action plan? What is an action plan? And I'd like um, Rico, if you can read it for us. What is an action plan? Now while Riku is reading, I'd like the class to uh, write it into your books as well as our students in the receiving schools. If you can write it quickly into your workbooks. An outline of activities listed in a sensible order of doing something in order to. Very good, thank you. You can get it written. Now the next we will be looking at factors to consider when making an action plan. Some of the things that you should consider when you are making an action plan. And there are about six things or six factors that we have to consider when we are making an action plan. I would like um, Nanada, if you can read for us the first factor to consider when making an action plan. What will the project look like? Good, thank you. What will the project look like? Good. Trisa, the second uh, factor, please. The second factor. What site will it be? Good, thank you. Uh, the class students, you should be also having that one written down. Factors to consider when making an action plan. Okay, we have. Um, Messi, if you can read it for us, the fourth one. Where will resources come from? Where will resources come from? Now, these resources uh, is talking about both the natural and the man-made resources. In whatever you plan to do, you may be using natural and also man-made resources. Uh, if I can have... Do you have Francis here? Um, Edward, please. The fifth one, fifth factor. What needs to be bought and you afford it? Good. What needs to be bought and can you afford it? Now, any resources that you need, especially if it's uh, man made, you need to have the money money to buy money is a resource too you have to have the money to buy whatever you need to use now we have the last um, factor to consider when making an action plan and i'd like uh, jennifer read it for us what are the steps in doing the project okay the steps in doing the project steps is actually talking about the types of activities that you are going to do in carrying out that uh, uh, project and those activities have to be listed in order which comes first and which comes next until you come up with the completed um, product or whatever you plan to make now, so those are the factors or things that have to be considered when making an action plan. Now, our activity, I'd like the class to, or let's just say one person to read it for us, and if we can have Brendan. Brandon, read this for us. Oh, In groups, discuss and write down a plan of action for the water luggage area. Okay. 
So you are going to discuss in a group, in your groups, and write down a plan of action for the waterlog area. Now we've just gone through the factors that you have to consider when you are planning your actions for the waterlog area. Now in this lesson, um, the students in the receiving schools and the class as well, you will be drafting, okay, drafting meaning making a rough copy of your plan of actions. And when we come to the next lesson, you should be able to get that draft work written neatly to share with others. So um, once again, for these activities, uh, class, you will be using the, lit uh, the small papers, okay, the A4 papers for the draft work. And uh, if you get it completed, then you will go on to using the bigger ones. So if I can have the um, runners, please to collect your papers quickly. You have to get one from there and one from here. That's for the draft work, and that's for the um, work to be done neatly there. You won't be, um, use pencils to do your draft work. Yeah, just pencils to do the draft work. Uh, this one you will use marker, but in the next lesson, okay. Now we all have 10 minutes, okay? We all have 10 minutes. We are given 10 minutes to discuss and come up with our plan of action for the waterlogged area. So please, I'd like to see that every one of you get together, contribute ideas, how you can all help to um, improve the waterlogged area. We have already discussed that in the previous lesson, so that should help you to carry on from where you stopped in the previous lesson. You have yours already there. Okay, let's see what you have. Mm -hmm. Okay, so you have one. It says, what will the project look like? So this is a, a waterlogged area. So what, what do you expect to do for that waterlogged area? What will the project look like? Okay, and then so you can have that one written quickly. Then what size will it be? Okay, so um, what type of project do you plan to make? That's what he's talking about. And then you come to the size. How big do you think it's going to be? And then where will resources come from? The things that you need to do that improvement, where are you going to get the resources from? So these are the things you talk about it, and then you have it written. So now for this lesson is discussing and getting it done, uh, um, just drafting it, a uh, rough work, okay? Am I making it um, clear, Shane? Yeah. Are you all um, sure with what to do? Not really, okay. The waterlog area is the problem we have. Now, here you are to discuss and think about how can you make that waterlog area become a good place? See, that is, that is what we are all trying to do now. So, improving that waterlog area. How do we help to make this waterlog area become a good place? And we can turn that waterlog area into something else, huh? Yeah, you can you can get your main points. And that's what I'm talking about. Drafting, okay? Just your ideas. You can draft your ideas, and after that, you can rearrange your ideas into orders. Okay, good. Mm. Are we are we now sure with what to do? Yeah. Okay, good. Thank you. Are you all okay? 
confused. Okay, how are you confused? What will the project look like now? What is our problem? What is our environment, the school environment problem now we are talking about? The waterlogged area. And what is waterlogged? What is waterlogged? Yeah, muddy because there is uh, so much water. Okay, now that area, the water log is the problem. So, how are you going to help to improve that area? Okay, and here it says, what will the project look like? So, what sort of project do you think you can do to help to improve that area? That's what it's talking about. So you you discuss that. What type of project do you think you can you can do to change that area, that waterlogged area, to become a good place. Okay. Is that okay? Okay. So now you are only doing draft work. You are not. You are not. You are not going to write it neatly. This lesson you are just drafting rough work. Okay. Your ideas, all those, just get them listed down, and then after that you can put those ideas you have in order and try to see how you can rearrange them. Pardon? Yeah, yeah, that's it. Okay. Are we okay? You all okay? Yeah. What, you all understand what to do? One, number one. Okay, it says, what will the project look like? Now, what is our problem? The area being waterlogged. And waterlogged, we know that it's um, a place that is muddy because there is a lot of water. Okay. Where it says, what is, what will the project look like is, what sort of project or what do you think you can do to help to change that waterlog area into something good, into a good area that can uh, help to improve the environment of the school. And there are things that you can do. You can do to help to change that place, that, that area, into a good place rather than a place being muddy. What will you do to make it look good? Okay. Because here you are looking for looking for a project that you can do to help to make that waterlog area look good, look better than how it is when it's always raining. Okay, yeah. Okay, you can have it in order, but if there is one project you are thinking of that doesn't need um, what size will it be, then you don't have to have the size with them. This is, this is uh, some of the things that you can consider. So which means you don't have to consider all of them. Like if there is a project you are thinking of and the project there is no size to it, then forget that. You have to forget it and look at the others. Okay. Are we okay? Yeah, okay, good, thank you. Okay, so you are now just getting the, uh, getting it um, done, um, just draft it, okay? And then all of you should look at it, or you are getting your draft done, okay, good. And then in the next lesson, you have it written out neatly on the big page. Good. Oh, good, you already have yours done, nice. Okay, our friends here, you have a paper there, let's see. To, to, to support the grammar. Yeah, what did you say, Paul? You are lost. How are you lost? You don't know what to do, okay. Where is the, you have, um, <coughs> it says, the activity says you are to discuss and what? Write what? 
action plan on what's our problem? Okay, our problem is a waterlogged area. Now, in the water, there are factors that you are to consider when you are drawing out a plan of action. Did you get those uh, factors written? Did somebody get the factors written? When I was going through the, what I said, get this one written. One of the, the first one it says, what, what will the project look like? Now here, you're gonna think about what you can do. What sort of activities, or how are you going to help to improve that waterlogged area that it's no longer waterlogged? Huh? Can you get that? Okay, and then you think about the type of resources. What type of resources are you gonna use? to change that waterlogged area into a good place. Where will your resources come from? Those are some of the factors to think about. And then you list your activities in order. What will you do first? Next. Until the last the area is good now. Okay. What? No, you're not getting it done properly now in the next lesson. This is draft work. Thank you, let's see. Oh, that's nice, good. Then, when you come to the last part, that is where you are going to list your activities in order. The activities that you will do to improve that area. What do you do first, second, until the last and then? Okay, that's nice. It was first. Mm -hmm. Good. Very good. Yeah. Okay, you, where, where does it say? Here it says, what are the steps in doing the project? We write the steps. Now. Yeah. Okay, let's see yours. Okay, steps you will have to, okay, let's see. Mm -hmm. Okay, then you work on the steps. And in the next lesson, that's where you're going to write it neatly on the paper. Okay. Uh, class, we are, this lesson we are working on drafting the plan of action. So um, to write it neatly, it's, it will be done in the next lesson. And I believe everybody is halfway, okay? So you finish it, finish your draft in your own time. And when we come to the next lesson, we will look at samples of some of your draft work before we can go on to the actual uh, writing of your plan of actions. Now, before we finish, um, let's look back, reflect back to the factors Okay, factors that we have to consider when planning uh, or when making an action plan or when planning actions of improving uh, the waterlog area. Now I'd like Alois here to tell us what is our first step? What, sorry, the first factor that we have to consider. What will the project look like? What will the project look like? Good, thank you. Uh, the second one, Shane. <laughs> second factor. What size will it be? What size will it be? Now, with the size, what, what the type of project you are looking at, some of them may not need four sizes. So don't let that trouble you. Okay, let's have the next one from Raymond. Any, any of the factors that you have to consider? Where will the resources come from? Where will the resources come from? Okay, there, there are others there, but I will have last one uh, from Rachel, please. What are the steps in doing the project? Okay, the steps in doing the 
project. Good. So those are some of the factors or some of the things that you have to consider or think about when you are thinking of whatever project that you have to do to improve the problem that you have in your schools. Now homework, homework, no writing. There is no writing, you will be only what? Collecting. So this is to the class and also to the receiving schools. You have this time for the students, instead of writing, they can um, use their own time to collect whatever materials are needed for whatever you have to do. Now our next lesson activity, we are still on the action plan on completing the action plan that you are drafting now. And we finish with the key phrase. Yes, sir, Elisa. Action plan. Action plan or plan of actions. Okay. Now, um, with that, I'd like to um, say a good morning once again to the class, the receiving school students and teachers. Receiving teachers, here's your reference for the next lesson. Strand, substrand, outcome, topic, materials, and reference.